Hey there, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me today and requesting your free video. So today we're going to go over just a few tips that you guys can start applying right away that's really going to help you guys online and to get more organic leads. Because nearly 70% of your organic leads come from your website here, it is really critical that your website be properly optimized so you can capture that traffic. Okay, so we're on your site here. Um, your site is secure, so that's awesome. That's exactly what you want. I love that you have your information right up top here, your phone number, and a form. So you're making it super easy for your customers to find you. You got your BBB accreditation for trust for trustworthiness, so that's awesome. All right, so now... This is your home page, and you don't have anything on it but just your header here. So, Google wants your home page to be a minimum of 1,500 words of, of content or more. That's going to be content built around your services and your local buyer intent keywords. Those are the keywords people are actively searching for your services on Google. So um, each, each of your various services that you have listed on your service page, your homepage should be like a mini summary of majority of those services and then should be focused around those keywords. That way you have enough content on your homepage to actually get indexed for keywords besides your brand. You want to be indexed for the keywords people are actively searching so you can actually be found online. And then you also need to have a separate service page for every single one of your services. Simply just listing out your services is not enough. Now, you may be able to combine a couple of these that are related into one single page, but majority of your major services need to have their own page. They have their own unique keywords and they need their own, pa own page. You need 250 words for every keyword you're going to target. So I would definitely build out those pages. Um, and just quickly looking at these images, see if those are optimized, save as. And your images are not optimized either. So you actually don't have any keywords here. Um, you could at least be optimizing your photos with the relevant keywords for that service. That would help. Um, when you go and you build these pages, make sure that you're using original content and you're not duplicating your content. And make sure that you're not going after the same keyword on multiple pages. Because when you do those two things, Google will penalize you for it and you will not show up in the searches when you should be. And then if you have multiple service areas, you should also consider having a separate service area pages. In cities that you service that have search volume should have their own page. Again, it'd be like a mini homepage, but all with unique content and keywords focused around your services and that specific city. So if we look at your top competitor when it comes to concrete contractors in Las Vegas, we have Las Vegas Concrete. Um, not a fabulous website. This is um, a lead generation website. Um, and Google doesn't rank based on appearance. It's all rank based on content. So they've done a really good job. Um, they got the click to calls. They have separate service pages for every single one of their major services. And they also have separate service area pages, which is really critical. Um, and then if you look down here, they have a ton of content focused around the local keywords. Um, so to beat these guys, it is definitely doable, but you have to work on your content you have to have more content than they have, not just on the homepage, but on your other pages as well. So you're going to have to have those service 
pages and service area pages um, if you're servicing multiple areas. But definitely beat the content on their home page. As you can see, it's not done. It's not done great, but the content is there. It's readable in, in like a paper format, and that's what Google likes. So um, you have to beat their content, do your interlinking to your other pages, etc. And then you're going to want to support your website with SEO because a website without search engine optimization is not going to be found online. So if we look here, you have a rating of a 0.2 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which means Google does not trust your website. That is 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. A referring domain is just any website that will provide your website with a link from their website to your website, where the backlink is that physical link coming from the other website. Whole intention is to drive traffic. Now, while you do need a lot of these, not all are created equal. This is a popularity contest with Google. So the more relevant those backlinks are to your services, the more power it's going to give you, the more authority, and the more it's going to help you to rank. But Google only gives you credit for one backlink for every referring domain. So that means you have over 1,700 spammy links, according to Google. And if we look here, only 36 of your referring domains are do follows, um, which means only 36 out of all these links are doing anything remotely to help your website. You've only been indexed for two keywords, so you're getting approximately 15 people on average to your website. So you're missing out on a ton of customers by not being optimized. If we look at your competitor, they only have a rating of a nine. They only have 600 backlinks with 68 referring domains. Of those, 53 are do follows. So you don't like to beat their 53 do follow referring domains but they have been indexed for over 100 keywords, and so they're getting over 186 people to their website. And they still have a long ways to go, so there's a lot of potential here, but you've got to get your website optimized. And the last part of this is your Google My Business page or section. Um, your goal should be to be in the top three, because 30% of people search in the Google Maps and don't search anywhere else but this top three. So if you're not here, you send all those leads to your competition. Now, in order to get in the top three, there are several factors, but the most important are your citations. And that's the name of your business, your address, phone number, website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, and Glassdoor. So you will need a lot more of those than your top co um, competitors. But when you follow each of these tips I have provided you today, your website has the opportunity to be number one across Google for all of your services in each of your service areas. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and would really love to get your feedback. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.